Okay, now hold on, hold on. Okay, but hold on, let me stop you. Okay, but hold on, let me stop you. Now, you, 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 didn't, go, you didn't go because of... 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 You want to know why? Because of Big's jealousy, or you didn't go because... Me and Big was going through it, but on some other shit, you know, I still was about my money, and our career shit was very separate, you know? Okay. Um... And they wanted me to go on the tour fucking saying it's promo. That means free, my nigga. Right. You know Okay, not only on the personal side, I had found out about Big and Kim. Big, Big was already dating um, Charlie Baltimore. Damn, I thought he was going to avoid this. So, no, listen. <laughs> what? You know what happened? No, I think she's not going to avoid it. She's going to go on that. Well, no, no, no. You this don't is avoid shit. shit. You don't avoid shit. I, but I'm not angry. It's all good. Damn. Damn. I'm God still damn. here. Okay. <laughs> I'm the shit. <laughs> shows like you know getting like I want to say at the time I had maybe two singles out but I had a gold my album might have even been gold but right. I know I had two gold singles for sure uh-huh. and maybe my album almost gold I'm getting paid like 7500 just to do two songs three songs on the mm-hmm. on the night mm-hmm. you know more, maybe 75 10 G's like mm-hmm. that was okay for me mm-hmm. I, why am I gonna go on a tour for free and might have to fuck somebody up no. you know what I mean like I don't want to even be this is me trying to be very not around that shit because I don't want to do that you try to be grown right exactly no. exactly <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a real <laughs> went to LA because this producer was said he would want to pay me to write songs for his group, which is who I was with in the club the night that I met Tupac with, when Tretch was with Tupac in the club. Oh. I was in picture. LA because I was just yeah. trying to make money as a writer. Now this makes sense. Okay. And they was on so, the bad boy so, tour. So, so Pac was That's in the why club with Tretch. Tretch is Tretch from Tretch is, Jersey. I that's, knew how, Tretch. that's how they met. Oh. Well, I knew Tretch from Jersey. He used to be at Red House. So right. he was the one like, yo, my boy Pac want to meet you, da da da. Oh. I met you in Justin's, and um, we were just there, and I had smelled like weed. He was like, you got weed? I was like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> and I knew, like, like, the type of person you was. So when I revisited the picture, I was like, that picture was Oh, innocent. I didn't know him. I had just met him. Like, I could tell, like, yeah, after yeah. meeting you, I knew that picture I'm cool, was, though. I'm cool was, with everybody. And that's not to excuse the fact that in hindsight. Yeah, I did. You know? I did. But, and we were just on everything just talking about this like last night but you know it's like nigga you know me a big would have i told big i yeah. met pop like i would yeah. avoid big calls sometimes to that producer's house that i was working yeah. with just all my little bullshit you know mm-hmm. we did dumb shit but then this time i took it i was happy to tell him because i knew like big did not want to believe that i didn't know pop but i knew what he said about him how he felt about him right and so when he even had an inkling of like at that time it wasn't confirmed like he really feel like that but it was little shit it wasn't no Social, you know what I mean? Right. Like I don't know if it was even so much direct shit at the time. It was that article wasn't out, so I was happy. Like yo, I met your boy Pac, and he told me he liked my music and wanted to do a song with me. I'm thinking, yeah, right. big. He ain't say don't do it. He's like, you want to do it? I was like, yeah. I gave him Mark's number. Told right. him how much it's gonna be. And we say Mark, Mark Pitts. Yeah, he okay. was my he was Big's manager. So okay. a, after a certain point, I let him be my manager because okay. I didn't have a manager when I right. got signed, but. Right. You know, it wasn't it wasn't something that I was hiding. Put it that's the point I'm making. Right. And my point was if Big would have said don't do it, if Big cuz we know Big wasn't he wasn't on the guard and, and uh, he probably was a little confused like I don't think that's true cuz there's no way he could feel he could think but, that. But but you understood how he tried to use you as a casualty at all. Absolutely. And that not only not only him but the thing is at that time I didn't even know the the bigger situation. When I went to the <clears> studio <throat> with Pop I didn't know he was signed to Death Row. I was on wow. stage with Puff at that Source Awards when Shook said that. Wow. I was there on stage, but I didn't oh, know what right. about that. She was I was on stage. Right. I didn't you know, know what the hell he was girl. talking about. I, mean, I, don't I had on a, a, like a champagne colored silk oh. suit, Chris Webber, me and Puff. Yeah. I was clapping. I didn't know what he was talking about. I was confused and clapping at like, Your I didn't horse. know what was going on. 
And yeah. even when I went in the studio, until I walked in the studio, I didn't know Pac was signed to Death Row. Right. Like, I immediately was like, oh, shit. Like, I knew all the people from just whatever I seen in the media. I saw probably, uh, I don't remember, maybe a Danny Boy. Corrupt, Corrupt, the dog Corrupt time. was there. You right. know what I mean? But I just started being the cool person I am, smoking with everybody, you know. Yep. I'm going to get this hook done. But I felt a little weird because I just didn't know he was on Death Row. Right. And I knew that this guy who runs this label had just said some shit about the person that runs my label. All right. Even though I didn't know where it was coming from. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know where it was coming from for even years after that, even for a few years after that, you know? Wow. Like, there's a whole backstory to all that that has nothing to do with being... Right. Or Tupac, oh, you know shit. what I'm saying? Yeah. So, right, right, wow, that's that, yeah. that's ill. Wow. Um, big. I think what happened was that it was like I don't know what magazine. It may have been Vibe. It may have been Source. One of those, or may have been New York something, Rolling Stone. But they were there was an article, and this is prior to. I mean, this is after me going in the studio with Tupac. But again, there was no that record never came out, right? I don't know. I've heard it before, but I don't know. Okay. I don't know I don't whether it was just a, it. yeah. it's online, I but I don't know if it was on the actual death row release okay. or something like a. No, it's probably not. Well, it was yeah. never approved, so yeah, I'm yeah, it would have never got cleared. Yeah. I think they put it out with the girl Jewel singing it. Bro, oh, okay. But do you want to know sense. the irony? You you know what the song was called, right? Wonder why they call you bitch. <laughs> right, imagine oh, like so my nigga, yeah, 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 I heard that record. Before, imagine how I feel going. You know what I'm saying, like. <laughs> and this is what I'm thinking right now. Right. In the moment of me like, oh, this nigga's on death row. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, uh, it was weird, and, and but I still wasn't 100% clear yeah, on what was going to happen next until I didn't ever get my motherfucking check. <laughs> like, so, so, so to your knowledge, prior to that, um, Big and Pac were good. Well, I ne again, I never met Pac, but let me take you back before that to okay. the Quad Studio night. Okay. Which is another story that has been, you know, differently purported. But I remember, I wasn't there, but I was at our apartment in Brooklyn. And Big called me, boo-hoo crying after that shit happened. And wow. telling me, I'm going to Bellevue to check on Pop. Wow. You feel me? So whether wow. anybody ever said that, but I know that, well, I knew before that. I knew he would never, that wasn't something he would do. Right. I, I spoke to them too. They used to be with me all day like, oh my God, all I know is da da da. We ran upstairs, da da da. And, and the next thing you know, you know, I think it may not have been right away, but you know, by the time it got to public consumption, it wasn't more than a week later that people were saying that he said that, or he obviously did say it, that he said right. they had something to do with it. But I knew that wasn't the case. Like, he did call me crying going to check on him. Wow. That wasn't fake. He ain't have to call me. He's like, right. yo, my God, this just happened, seizing him, and da, da, da. I'm going to go check on my man, make sure he all right. You know, right. and then he came home later. But, um, you know, he still kind of wanted to think that their relationship was a little more genuine than what he was yeah, hearing. With the media. You know, yeah. and, and, and well, then what, obviously, Pop had shifted for whatever reason, you know, mm. his uh, feelings about Big, you know? Right. They was young. It was a battery in their back. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yep. If they would have met with each other, that shit would have been Yeah, I think he, he, that's, that's, he definitely that's, always honestly, was thinking they would one day work it out. You know what I'm saying? Wasn't right. there that story that they, that y'all saw each other at, at a awards show? I just told you, yeah, we yeah, saw yeah, each other. Yeah, yeah. like for that moment? No, no, no. I don't want no peace at all. Oh, shit I, thought that, no. I thought that he but said that wasn't But a... that wasn't the pop we know, Like, they was looking like he couldn't believe that dude was... Yeah, he like was doing that. that, but you know, he was with Shug. You know, Shug, like, everybody know that. Shug was putting the battery in his back, had him, you know, mm -hmm. doing that type of shit because he had a personal situation with Puff, you know what I'm saying? And, to, and, you know, we didn't know about that or, you know, that shit don't come around till you hear rumors about that All shit, right. but it was some personal shit with them that it, it, that trickled down to B.I. and Pac situation, you know what I'm saying? Right. Pac didn't want to do that, but that, you know, they bailed him out of jail. And he came out and, yeah, you know, he, 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 his loyalty yeah. was, hey, you know, to that. Down. You can't knock him for that. You right. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And our loyalty was towards Big. It, it, it is what it is. We didn't dis... It's no other reason for me to dislike that man. Right. We, we didn't like him because he was going against my man. That's my right. boss. That's my brother. You know what I'm saying? And right. that's just how it was. And, and that wasn't really who Pac was. We hung out with him before, yeah. my nigga. And that's right. why Big I did. didn't... That's why right. Big didn't yeah, respond yeah, and, and, and didn't do these things. You know what I'm saying? Right. So it, it ain't supposed to went to that level, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Big, that's why he never made a response. That's why he didn't even feed into the shit that went down with the picture with her and him. He, he knew who he was, and he knew her. 
before, for, first and foremost, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't nothing to really trip about, you know what I mean? Because, but, cause how old? How part me, um, see, but how how old was you? Because like, like you're you're like like like, like that was like the first person like they they used you like. like no, like, but like, I publicly am that people knew of. Right. There's other people in that little of course picture that course. you know it hasn't been. Oh, this is this and da 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 da. But yeah, I yeah. think in terms of like being. Um, you know, kind of publicly judged in mm -hmm. regard to a situation and making it seem like it was a my situation is way right. more than you, it was. You stayed classy too. You could have, you could have. I yeah. tried, but you know, don't get me wrong. I got, I was real mad <laughs> right. uh, at first. Yeah. Cause <laughs> I, I, because I was like, my lawyer, I called my lawyer, media. like, can I sue them for saying this? Once I started hearing they saying this, and he was like, I mean, come on, like, you know, like, you gonna sue somebody for saying something about it? You know, that old, that old, and I was just like thinking of big, like, yo, this could get really ugly. Like, I, you know, I ain't about to, you know, I, not even knowing that the shit is way bigger than somebody saying something about you. You know what I mean? I right. didn't know the whole full story, but I knew that shit was wrong. Right. But I figured out, and after a while, I was like, excuse me, you know what? I know what it is. God knows what it is. And the only person I was concerned about initially was really big and talking to big, you know, which I never really got to do. Because back to that thing, when you say he came and he heard about it, that was really yeah. what you started talking about. Yeah, exactly. That happened, you know. Right. He was like, what the fuck? And I'm like, like, you're bugging. But I think it was more so him hearing about uh, the bigger situation. And, and, as, and this is the picture or this is after Hit Him Up came out? Um, no, this before Hit Him Up. Eh? Yeah, I think that's before okay. Hit Him Up. It's the picture then. Oh, article. Picture. It was an article saying that no, I traded in my came wet and prior. Ring. I think the picture Yeah, came the off. picture was one thing, but there was yeah. an article which Sugar and Tupac and Sugar was like, I um, I traded him in my wet and ring and took him shopping, bought him a bunch. I bought him the oh, outfit uh, he had on oh, in the magazine. Uh, it's and, MTV. That was MTV. Oh, I don't know what it was, but it was, all, was it also California? an article that okay, I'm they were talking about the same stuff. So I, okay. you're right. It might have right. been a video somewhere too. Right. But you know, it was like. It was just when I heard about it, and then big kind of it was right after me coming back from LA, experiencing that session with him, and like right. him kind of breaking on me, saying I gotta suck his dick to get my check. Like right. it was, Wait, who? What? Well, I'm just saying I don't really wanna because you know, and I keep saying I'm not gonna rehash it in that sense because I keep like yeah, I've talked about it, and I don't you know, but yeah, it's, things happen in a different way where I was like, this isn't what I signed up for. <laughs> So, you know, and I don't want to do that because I've seen another interview. I'm like, why did I end up talking about it again? You know, it's, yeah. I talked about it in my book and I ain't really trying to like uh, shit on his uh, legacy. legacy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So to speak in terms of just my personal experience. Yeah. But, you know, I know that, you know, the way I just feel like it was it was definitely some other weird influence. Like I didn't I didn't feel comfortable around him on the strength of knowing anything other than the fact that Big really fucked with him. That's right. what I can say. You feel right. what I'm saying? Well, that's the saddest yeah. part of the whole situation. You feel me? Yeah. That's the only yeah. reason I was like, and I was happy, that's why I was happy to tell Big, yo, I met your boy Pop. If I'm, right. if I'm trying to fuck with this nigga, why am I going to tell you, my right. husband, who's definitely about to, not trying to see me with no other nigga, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like Biggie, you know? Real shit. Which is why I was so offended when he was had the nerve to be out with it. Like, nigga, why you fucking kill me if I was trying to, right. you know what I mean? Like, right. so it was just, it was just weird. It was just all very quick and it was just weird, you know? Because those kind of like cheap shots, you're not supposed to do that. Right. Yeah. Certain things, like if you're a real guy, you don't, in, you don't involve other people, my nigga. My exactly. situation is with you. Right. That's why Big didn't, didn't I'm not going to respond. I think that was but an easy see, one, though. But that, that was, was an easy cheap. one because I did go in the studio. Right. Whether but, people understand the fact that I just didn't know certain, you know, I ain't looking for no sympathy, but I know right. what it really was. Yeah, right. you know, I was out there to get money. Like, right. nigga, that'll be 20 G's. Right. <laughs> right. Right. It's okay. I wasn't tripping off of no getting back at Big. I'm trying right. to make money, and I don't want to fuck a bitch up every day and for free. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. On that tour over there.